aging face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi Fi battle with your troll course, the Scarender. As of today, we're going against a Twitter follower named Gekuga2001. And I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name, buddy. I really am. It's, um, it's not in my native tongue to pull that off, though, with that said, it's actually kind of cool construction of words. Now, of course, with that said, as you guys see on the screen, he's bringing on, of course, Empoleon, Charizard, which could be his mega form, definitely, Golizabon, Pizimian, Roserade, and Minitrick. Uh, I myself is actually bringing a bit of a stronger team, in my honest opinion here, with, of course, right, Perior, Tapakoko, Whimsicott, Bosco, Primarina, and Dragology. Now, Dragology is, of course, with the C-move in mind, because it's pretty darn scary to be using this, of course, with adaptability and whatnot. And I firmly believe that the Dragology actually may or may not actually be one of the more, one could say, unrecognizable Pokémon, or at least one used, because consider its stabs are actually very terrifying, unless you're a Steel-type. And, of course, the only thing he has, of course, the Empoleon, which is probably the only thing taking it on, actually. And of course the Specs Primarina is always nice, though the matchup does not speak for it. The bus hole could be helpful against the Pesimian and Golizapod. And of course Whimsicott with Tailwind can definitely help out the slower mods, such as Ghost Ride Period and Golizapod Dragal Yee. Clearly. And of course Tabu Coco, awesome. Always like to use Tabu Coco. Uh, so with that said, I didn't necessarily think uh, too much about what it could possibly lead off, though I did feel a Scarf Pesimian would be just about right or even Empoleon. I'm gonna lead off with my Rapira because I really, really need to get my rocks up because it does not have any spinner. So, with all that said, so yeah, he actually starts off with Empoleon, and the first thought I'm thinking, you know, he's gonna set up rocks, right? That's that's the play to make. It's either that or it's gonna try to hurt me. A Skull won't take me out. So, as he goes for Self Rock, um, we, and I clearly go for the same thing. So, we're gonna exchange that, and I basically was feeling that, you know what, alright, you can scold me if you like, I'm gonna win the matchup by Earthquake, so I'm being completely fine here, as he actually defunks, uh, which was a tough call for him, because he'd actually lose his own rocks there, but then again, he just ensure that Charizard can come in without having to worry about the stealth rocks in mind, as Earthquake will just shatter the ground and shatter Empoleon, because boom. Actually, look how big Rhyperior is compared to Empoleon, that's, that's a size difference, if anything. So his switching here is clearly to Charizard, and, uh, you know, I was feeling, you know, since it brought it in, it's gonna be the Y form. There is no way in hell it's gonna be X. So, knowing that, I'm just gonna bring Brunchetta, which of course is the Whimsy card. And my main idea was to set up Tailwind here, basically sacking it, because Charizard just, in lack of better words, eats me. <laughs> there is, the Y form is so hard to switch in on if you don't have necessarily prep for it. And since it's just in your average custom Wi Fi battle, there is not gonna be. A defining team here which is gonna take it on. So Solar Beam may not do so much, and I am faster if I sort of started trying to hurt it with your Moon Blast or Giga Rain, but I'd rather set up the Tailwind and scare him out afterwards. Because Fire Blast or no, yeah, Fire Blast, it's uh, it's killing like a lot of Whimsy Cards. It's only of course landing on one, but I'm pretty sure three or four die there. So anyway, I'm gonna bring Rain Brown, which clearly out speeds is anyway. And I'm gonna do a bit of a dumb play here because I actually do decide to go for Thunderbolt. Because I was thinking, you know, Manetric's hidden ability isn't that Intimidate. Uh, I was basically feeling that Manetric is Intimidate, right? Lightning Rod is what it gets when it Mega Evolve. I'm dumb. It was a long time since I fought this thing as Lightning Rod is gonna activate. And that's unfortunate. Luckily though, uh, Desol Troya can still come in and I can actually set up Rocks, which is my main idea here. So he can just go for a regular Thunderbolt. Now he has Hidden Power Ice. And it will do a lot of damage on me, and of course with that extra special attack, kind of made that situation worse, but I at least get rocks up, so Charizard is kind of screwed, as I'll just actually go for an Earthquake here, and I was feeling, you know, I'm a good spot, I don't have to worry about the Manetric or getting any prior damage on me, I should be fine, as Tailwind is pretty much wasted, as he goes for another, of course, Hidden Power Ice, still isn't doing anything, you know, I'm, I'm dying next turn, but at least I kill it with Earthquake, right? Uh, right ish. It's actually sashed. So, it was kind of crucial for him actually defogging because that meant that this <laughs> he actually maintained his sash on his Manetric. So, real nice play on my opponent. As I'll lose my right Rhyperior here, but the rocks are still here to stay. But it is kind of bad. I mean, right Rhyperior could definitely have done some work. And I feel like just free fall is. It was kind of a portion of Manetric winning. Yeah, that's, that's kind of rare to see. As I'm just going to bring a Rain Bronze. And I'm clearly not going to go for a Thunderbolt again, so I'm going to get my Electric Surge up. 
I do believe I go for Dazzling Gleam here, not necessarily risking it all that much, as we're gonna pop the trick. And as I said before, we're gonna dump me of actually activating its Lightning Rod, because I do believe that it would have been far away from actually killing my um, right peer had I not gotten that extra attack. Now, of course, the Sludge Bomb held that is Rolls-Royce is gonna come in, and I have to switch out. So I'm just gonna switch out to Dragology, because we're four times resistant to his um, uh, Grass Stab, and of course resistant to his Sludge Bomb. So we take this really well, because uh, Dragology is just a special defensive beast, as I will just go for my C move, because I know Drogoldi wants shits to go down, and so does my opponent, he's actually gonna sack his Pesimian. Now, Pesimian would've died anyway to a Draco, there is no way in hell he was gonna take it, but we we, we are really, really pushing it. We go in for that devastating C move, which of course is called something with Dragon, Devastating Drake, yeah, I said that. Anyway, we're just gonna shoot it out as we're gonna blow him to bits. So, yeah, that's um, that's great, you know, poor Pesimian really. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, he's gonna bring in Charizard, and since it's a white form, I know that his best move is Draco or Dragon Pulse, and that's not gonna kill me, and I can easily retaliate with a Draco myself, as I probably should've gone for a Sludge Bomb, thinking about it. Anyway, Dragon Pulse is gonna come through, clearly, and um, we live with, you know, a, a decent amount of HP, we're still kicking it, as Draco will just annihilate him, and yeah! I mean, boom, that's Charizard out of the way, and Dragolti just kind of shilling here, not necessarily caring about anything now, does he? So, I'm kind of in a good spot here, as the goalie support is going to come in, and you know, first impression and all is always great, always gets me in a good mood, but luckily I do have Buswall, and Buswall is, um, how do you say it, pretty darn fat. So, clearly it's all muscles, but it's a, trust me, he takes hits well, there is nothing penetrating bus <laughs> Bussy. Or, you know, depending on what he's into, I guess, penetration is... You know what? Fuck it. Anyway, I'm just gonna go for an Earthquake here. I was feeling that was my best neutral move since he's banded, but Colisopod is fairly defensive. I don't force that Emergency Exit out. As he goes for Liquidation, it won't do too much on me, but, you know, it's getting more damage onto me, which is always unfortunate, as Earthquake finally forced him out. And I was feeling mainly dumb here, because that was, uh, that was pretty darn bad as Rosedred is gonna come in here, and I was pretty sure I could take a Sludge Bomb from Rosedred from this range, and it actually might have been more likely if I not got in that hit, because once I saw Black Sludge, I was fairly sure this was gonna be a defensive set or defensive variant, but he has Dazzling Lean, which was something I did not expect, and that's just gonna pop Gorehart, there's no way he's taking that. Sadly, had it been Sludge Bomb, it would not have been an issue, but it's mainly because of resistance and that stab, so Dazzling Lean, nice. So I'm gonna switch into Angels here, I was feeling like I can wrap up, uh, because I thought Giga Ring was his move to go for it, but no, he has Leaf Storm, and Leaf Storm actually one-shot Angie, so... Fuck. <laughs> so that was not good, as um, I'm starting to realize that I might actually lose this one for some reason, because Rainbrand is my last switch in here, which was only the only one I had left. I was feeling this is the only Pokemon that probably could take a Sludge Bomb, so you just go to Vita for Ice. Thinking that maybe, just maybe, I should have went to Thunderbolt for some reason. Hidden Power Ice would have been the smarter move. Uh, anyway, as he goes for a Sludge Bomb, and that will not KO me, but it is doing damage on me. And that's definitely enough for Golisopod to kind of wrap up the game, sadly. As I'm going for Hidden Power Ice this time, and it's close to killing him, but it does not kill him as I'm going to fall to Life Orb. But that's not the worst part, because due to the Leaf Storm, we're actually on a predicament which I didn't necessarily think about. You remember that I said that, of course, Ragoldi can take a Dragon Pulse from uh, the Shards of Y without an issue. It can also take a neutral Dazzling Gleam to the face pretty darn easy and retaliate. So, had I brought this Pokemon instead of my Tapu Koko, I might actually have been an honest chance of winning this game. But instead, Glycopod is gonna wrap up the game, and my opponent here actually gonna snag the win from me. So I did a choke of a lifetime, but at the same time, I can't underestimate how good Glycopod really could be, or I mean, Drogolgi really could be. Glycopod clearly, clearly pulling through here, but my Drogolgi clearly was the champ of this game, and I did not trust it enough.